listening to the Mobcast Network. Welcome to the Cult Movie Cantina. Woo! This is your pop culture spirit guide, Native American pop culture spirit guide, Scotty. And he's joined by, as always... your lady of libation, <laughs> okay, all right, look, Stephanie. Hold on, no, 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 no. And Justina, no. your jellical jester. She, she knows, knows no, no movies. No, 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 no. Admiral. <laughs> At your service. Look, I, At ease. I, I know I screw this up from time to time. Scotty, where can we be found? I, I know how the order goes. <laughs> I think that was hilarious, though. We should keep that one in. Oh, it's, I'm not cutting it. It's in. It's in. It's in. <laughs> Since he doesn't know where we're found anymore, we're also joined by... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, you, you forgot Caleb. Caleb! Hi, Num- everybody. Number two. Who, Who does, does number, number two, two work, work for? for? You guys. Yes, he does. <laughs> where are we found? Well, any podcast. <laughs> Anything. <laughs> any podcast. podcast? No, let me do <laughs> podcast. Yeah, you can find every us. Podcast. No, no, no. I want to see if she knows. Okay. <laughs> uh, Facebook. Just search in Facebook, Mobcast Network, or Cole Movie Cantina. Also, YouTube, I feel like we're on there. Instagram, <laughs> do we have an Instagram? TikTok, do we have a apparently do we're we have, doing TikTok do we, now. Do we have threads? Because so, that's the big thing now. But where can they specifically find but the podcast? Specifically, you can find it on any fine podcast app. Look at you yeah. go. Yeah. Woo! There we go. Got there. Eventually. This week's a cult meeting. <laughs> you follow along on that. <laughs> you made me nervous. Welcome to the meeting. <laughs> uh, We've been drinking bubbles. <laughs> That's true. That's what happens when we record the episodes out of order. <laughs> <laughs> he sings, sang, sang, though. Yeah. yeah that's I, it was fun. It's that musical theater and everybody here. Uh, I don't even know where to begin. Um, <laughs> In the beginning. Well, well, what, what'd you In do the this beginning. Week? What'd you do this week? Let's go from there. Oh, we want to do that. Yeah, is that what we're doing? Um, actually, actually, let's take it serious before we oh, start yeah. and we get yeah, silly. Yeah. We'll get silly afterwards because uh, I'll let you take over on this one. Um, but we uh, lost a friend of the podcast recently and uh, a former yeah. guest and I friend of ours. I wasn't here um, for the last couple of podcasts because, like we've said before, we record every every couple. See, of weeks. I brought it down to a downer. <laughs> Sorry, want want. This is why he's on um, and um, a very good friend of mine, and he's also been on our podcast. And I also used to work for him. Angelo Simifero, um passed away the day we were supposed to record. Yeah, the day so, before we were supposed um, to record. And I took it um, pretty hard. Uh, I was um, when he got died. He had cancer. He had colon cancer. And when he was diagnosed, I would uh, I was going over and kind of helping him with you know stuff around the house mm-hmm. while he was going through chemo um and then um when he went on hospice uh, chemo did not go well and when he went on hospice i would go and sit with him so it was it was really really hard um great guy uh he loved sci-fi he loved books um, he was a bit of a smart ass. Which, Part of the which smartest like. man I ever met. He was brilliant. He was absolutely brilliant. He had, um, he only slept about three to four hours a night. And when he wasn't sleeping, he was reading and researching anything and everything. That's all he did is like he, he's, um, it, it, he just loved knowledge about everything. Well, he had so many books. So he had a podcast with us partner ron and called two two guys and some change and they recorded at his house right and he had so many books that they just used that for a sound barrier on his i I went over and recorded a couple times with him right so what you don't know is you saw that room right his back bedroom was was the same yeah it was so it was completely packed um but he was a hoot uh you know uh, he would because he knew that at the time i went to bed late it was while i was working with him um he would get a wild hair and he would like you know shop late at night for weird stuff <laughs> we've watched the same movies and um tv shows and i remember specifically he w- went through a phase where um the magicians was like his favorite tv show and right. we would watch it together and talk about it and um after the show ended they were auctioning off props and costumes and um he had a thing for uh, Alice on the show, mm-hmm. the blonde, and he bought 
some of her costumes online. And he was like, you won't believe what I bought. It's <laughs> uh, like, what are you going to do with that, Angelo? <laughs> I don't know, but I have it. So he was fun. Yeah, Angelo was great. He was I, a lot of fun. Um, I, I met him through Uncle Henry. Um, uh, I met Uncle Henry a couple of years back, and I had known him from the radio for years, mm-hmm. and I, I met him. And then Uncle Henry would do a thing where he would review popular TV shows on the episode, but he would invite his friends over to watch it with him. Right. And I heard that for a couple of weeks, and I was like, why am I not getting invited? So I just invited myself over. Mm -hmm. And so Angela was there, and so Brent Amaker was there as well, and that's how I met both of them. And then I got invited over. And then I just started bringing her with me. Right. And I was just (laughs) like, and then that's how we all kind of hung out. That's I I will always remember those. Yeah. My favorite one is like, you know, Angela was always doing something. Yes. Always doing something. But by the time we got to, to Uncle Henry's house, he had a cocktail in his hand already made. And, um... I mean, he had been working hard on something with his rental houses or something. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, we're all good. And he had had a few by, by the time, you know, you know what's how it is. You know, on a Sunday, you're working on your house. You're having a bunch of them. He, had yeah. a, he was getting things done. And he just passed out on the on the <laughs> on his chair and just like, and we were like, should we poke him or not? Just let him go. <laughs> just let him go. <laughs> it was well, like Game of Thrones and Walking Dead, and he's just out. It well, was the funniest thing. thing. Because he didn't sleep that much. Right. Like, so... You know, I guess when he did allow himself to relax. He just crashed. Because at the time when I first met him, he did have, you know, rental properties. And he was always working at stuff on the he, he, You know, Ron was the guy who would do um, a lot of the main collectible coins. Right, right. Where Angelo, which also did the collectibles, but his thing was, you know, the, the bullion, gold and silver bullion, mm-hmm. and what I call the nerd coins yeah, and stuff like that. Lots of nerd but he coins was there. always so busy at the shop. Also very serious at work. Like, his his persona at work was completely different than his persona away from work. He was very serious because he had to be. I mean, it's a... Um, you know, it's a tough job. Right. You know, doing what he did. But uh, he was fun, yeah. And it's usually he would be a few cocktails in uh, when he was uh, shopping for weird stuff on the <laughs> internet. <laughs> Aren't crazy. we all? Yeah, yeah. he's, he's so. someone I know we're, we're definitely going to miss. Yeah, absolutely. He's a good, he's a good guy. So, definitely anyway. a good guy. And th- this is a good good tie into what we do in November, too. It's like, you know, guys, just get checked. You never yeah. know. Mm-hmm. You never know. It's always Please. good to get checked. Yeah. And so sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. And so, yeah. so it doesn't hurt to get things looked at. Uh, so yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Um. Uh, I got I got two things I can go. I have a Taylor Swift thing, or uh, we can talk about what we did this weekend. Um. I feel like both will be equally entertaining. I don't know. I don't. I'm not a Taylor Swift fan, but I, I, feel I am like a Swifty. I'm a Swifty. But I'm not this. I, I've been a Swifty for years. I, I love. Just, yeah. I just love hearing you say that. Yeah. Man, Tay Tay's my girl. I hear things from people. <laughs> right, and like she's good. I hear that she re- re-released a new album, and people are, are salty because she's changed the lyrics. Well, on she, a bunch of songs. So she. So. But I don't know the I original guess I, lyrics. I guess that's a re- that's the direction we're going. Is Taylor? No, Swift. no, no. Well, no, no, not that. But I'll tell you why it was. So, so. The way it works is that um, you know when you get signed by a record deal, they own your stuff, yep. they own your masters, they own your stuff, and then after seven years in some contracts, more, more modern contracts, you can you, you, you get can, your stuff, back. you get your stuff back. They keep their old man, but that's why the Red Taylor's version. And so, came out. so Taylor's been re-recording her stuff so she can also make money. Right, right. And so that, there's been a whole thing there. But she's now on this Eras tour, and it's like this, like this tour is super crazy. There was controversy because there was a Ticketmaster thing. Yep. There's a whole the Tay Tay fans couldn't get get her tickets. TikToks are full of just crying women. Just I can't get the tickets. I'm in the waiting line. This whole the whole Shannon thing. Shannon bought six of those bad boys. Go girl, go oh. girl. <laughs> um, so, um, like I bought a house instead, right? <laughs> like her her concerts make so much money, they will change the yearly economy of the cities she visits. Like it will boost what? the economy for the entire mm-hmm. year for the city she visits. Yes. That's how big the show. Beyonce will too when Beyonce does her. Yeah, ba- it's Beyonce's insane. in Europe. Ba- Beyonce's in Europe right now on her tour. But those two tours will like, which is good because post pandemic people are trying to get back, you know, get things going back yep. together. And so you know, hotels, restaurants, mm-hmm. the bars, the whole bit are just. And it's like it's not just the Tay Tay fans who are, are you know who are going to go see her. It's those who can't make it who just want to be near. Her. And so it's like people go to the Super Bowl who can't get in the Super Bowl, so they just go hang out. And so you've got that whole market of people coming in there. Right. So 
I love music and I love concerts. And right. you love concerts. I so love you concerts. You go to concerts. And I've been to a lot of concerts. I've been to a Farm Aid. I've been to a lot yeah. of stuff. I, I love Pearl Jam. I would have gone to Tay Tay if somebody had bought me a ticket, I, but I ain't paying for it. Right. I ain't paying for yeah, it. I ain't either. I'm, in fact, I, I know this is a fact for Beyonce, but I'm not sure about Taylor because I don't think her tickets are on sale for Europe. But for Beyonce, it is actually cheaper to buy a ticket to Sweden, stay in Sweden, see her in a VIP experience than buying her VIP experience just in America. So you, you could it, go to Sweden. You go and you, experience yeah, so a lot of, lot, and do the same. A thing. lot of members of the Beehive have been buying VIP experiences. I'm sorry, the Beehive. The Beehive. What the hell is Beehive? Be- Beyonce's, Beyonce's fans are yeah. known as the Beehive. Yep. Mm-hmm. From when? Since uh, the beginning. Yeah. Are uh, you for real right yeah. now? Yeah. Never heard of How it. do you know this and I don't? Pop culture spirit guide. Yeah. I don't know if I even know any Beyonce. I know Destiny's Child songs, but Sing, I, oh, single know. ladies. Yeah, in that Destiny's Child. No, that was Beyonce. Oh, I knew Bebe. Do you know how I know that song from Glee? Yeah, sure. That's it. Sure. I don't know it from like because I, I don't listen. There's to that probably kind of music. there are probably a bunch of Beyonce songs that you've heard that you don't realize right. are yeah. Beyonce's. I like probably. Lemonade. I like the whole but Lemonade album. I mean, yeah, Lemonade I didn't is, know they were my jam. I listen to Lemonade often. Beehives. I don't know if beehives. I want to be are a they beehive. They is the it because she's the queen and they're all worker there bees? She's there she goes. So she's we do all bay. the work and she just sits there. Because she looks pretty and she's just large and in charge. I mean, that's at least how that's how we all that's how the members of Destiny's Child probably feel. (laughs) So, so like Taylor Swift, are they really called Swifties? Yeah, Swifties. Yeah, Yeah. Swift. I knew Swifties. Yeah, Yeah, I didn't know that one. Uh, kind of. I haven't. I haven't got to my point yet. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. Carry on. I love Pearl Jam. Yes, you do. We I know. I'm a huge Pearl Jam fan. I know you. Yeah. Eddie Vedder. Spokane. That's where I'm born. So. Um, Pearl Jam typically does two and a half hour, three hour concerts mm-hmm. uh, in in, law, in most venues, depending on regulations, if right. they don't have to leave early. And I've seen them twice where they've done over three hours. Um, there's a Reddit thread for Swifties fans about which song do you leave to go to the bathroom? <laughs> Because the errors to it, because it's it's just like what what are your like? There's a Reddit like, thread what about what song are you least interested in? Right, right, you a right. To go see, I feel they're looking at it the wrong way. If they just wore Depends into the oh, uh, hold on, <laughs> <laughs> hold, hold on, this yeah, is yeah, where yeah. I'm going. Okay. However, <laughs> the problem with skipping your favorite or your not least favorite Taylor Swift song is that Taylor every city she does she does something special. She announces an album she announces a new single she brings out a special guest so you don't know what's going to happen at the show so get so swifty fans have been going to wear adult diapers to the show so there you go they, I mean, how long is the show? Three hours. They yeah. can't make it three they hours. They cannot make it three I mean, hours. They're young adults. I, I mean, could make it three young hours. Young adults. I would. M- I could make it three hours drinking. What I are y'all that's doing? That's what I'm saying. I, I will admit, I, make it three I, hours. So I'm actually getting to a point where I'm 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 struggling with three hours now. Well, now but it, you've you've gotten up or uh, close uh, close to the. You need to check your prostate, there, buddy. Sorry. I'm not uh, there yet. <laughs> I'm we're, just we're, saying. we're getting. Uh, you're no longer the the wee one. Like. Similarly, similarly, last year I was experimenting with an app called Run P, which is for movies. So you know when during a movie you should go. You can't sit how there a whole movie. Do you pee? Jesus Christ! Like how about just don't. how about just not getting the coke? <laughs> just don't get the well, coke. Well, that just ruins the experience. Yeah, that ruins, you gotta have your popcorn and coke. I'm, how about just getting a small coke and sip on it? Nah. <laughs> I I got my AMC ape. You know, <laughs> I'm just saying, He's got man. his ABCD thing. Kayla's now feeling attacked. <laughs> I got We're answer. attacking you a bit, buddy. We're I have my A-list. I got, I got my A-list. I got to make the most out of it. Okay. <laughs> so he's got his show diaper but when he's at the movies. Yeah. <laughs> like, what you do is you hold it, and then you rush to the bathroom afterwards. But there are TikToks now of, like, uh, of like Swifty fans are, like, Recommending their their Swifty diapers and oh their God, favorite brand, me, just right? What, which are the real. most effective Swifty diaper? They're young adults. <laughs> oh my! I God. don't know if I could actively pee in no! diapers as an adult now. I mean, it's I and so this this brings me to another point about my Mardi Gras group. You know, on the floats when we ride, we have makeshift. We have a makeshift toilet on the floats. Fun fact. <laughs> and it is a five-gallon bucket 
with kitty litter. And it's, you know, we do a pool noodle for the, for the seat, and we put kitty litter in there. So if you have an emergency, you can potty. On. Well, that's, I mean, that's smart, though. It is smart. So what it was kind of like a camp toilet right. or whatever. Um, however. This is another reason why I don't camp. <laughs> <laughs> however, um, there are women that instead of doing that will wear Depends or whatever on the float for the ride. So they don't have to use the kitty thing. And I'm like, that ride's only, what, an hour and a half? I don't know. It's not. It doesn't it's seem not like that. I, I it's not long. I, I would I would use a diaper before the kitty. <laughs> Scotty, you're a dude. It's even easier for dude, you. The world is my toy. I, I have used the the kitty litter potty before, but like I don't. It's like I get it. We're drinking on the float, so but it's still it's not that long. People, hold it. <laughs> Listen. So what we're learning about, you know, the, the millennials and Gen Z, uh, yeah, are, are, are is that they have weak bladders. <laughs> the and evolution. So of or they're super hydrated. I'm just gonna go with they're super, super hydrated. hydrated. I I like am super hydrated. hydrated. I drink a lot of no, water. No, sir. Do better. <laughs> no, no. This is a uh, us because you know we're the we're the Gen. That's what I'm saying. As Gen Xers, we were forced to hold it because we would go on vacation in a car across country, and we ain't pulling over. That was my dad. He was like, we're not stopping. If you have to pee, you yeah. pee now because we're not stopping again. Exactly. That's right. We literally learned bladder control at an early age. <laughs> <laughs> Which is also what destroys your bladder. That's true. My <laughs> bladder Listen, is buddy. Thank you. You Keep sit over there. kids. <laughs> you're supposed to go when you're supposed to go. But I, I like only I tickle a little bit when I laugh really hard. It's really hard for me <laughs> to imagine a bunch of 25-year-olds being so desperate that they'll yeah. pee on themselves. I'm not at that This level. is the level of influence somebody <laughs> yeah. can well, have see, because of sheer following. But you have to understand that parenting, we, we were different parents than our parents. I remember being threatened with like, if you wet yourself, you're going to get a spanking. I'm sure as hell not going to wet myself. So I held it. No, I'm just talking about in general, like for life right now. To, But we didn't do that to our kids. To be in a generation where people are, are like, it matters to them that much to not miss what might happen. The uh -huh. FOMO is yeah. so real. Oh, I know. That so people would rather piss and shit on themselves. Exactly. So then they go to the bathroom. So fun Isn't fact. That crazy. It kind of makes me not like Taylor Swift, to be honest. I already don't like her, but yeah. Fun fact. This goes back farther than Tay Tay. Oh my. Uh, what a lot a lot of people don't know about the Ed Sullivan show when the Beatles appeared it was that there was so much urine they had to clean up <gasps> after the audience left. They they changed how they did stuff because you know, they all the girls was screaming and pissing themselves and all. Kind of goes back to the guy screaming that talks about Elvis and, and pissing <laughs> himself. They were so excited to see those boys but screaming like and pissing what themselves. What that comedian was talking about with Elvis. Yeah, right, right. right. That, that leg, the leg shake there. I was doing that. Hold on, <laughs> I'm gonna be sexy for you. Hold on, hold on. Do it. You ready? Yeah. Ready? We'll do the Elvis. Woo! Woo! Well, they can't see the leg, but yes. Yeah. We, we can see the we leg. Can see, yeah, we can see something. Yeah. Yeah. We got the Are you asking for validation? That's how Elvis got I have not girl. peed myself I'm yet, but I have. There it is. There it is. There yeah. it is. Uh, Hold on. <laughs> there, there, now, we're <laughs> now we're done. <laughs> I'm glad I wore my Depends today. But I mean, just ima I mean, you mentioned the Beatles, but like, just imagine that with like... Um, any K-pop band nowadays. That's the modern. That's the modern. Oh, I don't. Uh, don't even get me started. Here's on the thing, though. Please. The, what he just said is they had to clean up urine because they just pissed themselves. They didn't prepare for it. Yeah. They were in the moment. Yeah. They, These people are like, I'm not gonna want to leave, so I'm just gonna pee on myself. They were just so excited they peed themselves. I just can't. Uh -uh. That bothers me so much. When I met Jason Momoa Jesus. and touched his abs, I still did yeah. not pee myself. But like, like if I, she I'm can do saying, that, yeah. if she can if do I that. If I can hold my bladder while rubbing Jason Momoa's abs, then you can hold your bladder at a Tay-Tay like, concert. I imagine the same thing. I imagine like the Beatles' the reaction TT being concert. for like BTS. <laughs> like BTS would be the same sort of reaction modern day. No, I, what is I, BTS? That's I a, the Behind biggest, the scenes. That, that's one of the big K-pop Yeah, big K-pop bands. 
There's nothing that makes me feel older on this planet than K-pop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't listen to them. I just know they exist. I know. Sure, 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 sure. I just heard about your bladder, buddy. <laughs> 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 I, just, I, I am disappointed. How did you know the name of that band? I am uh, so disappointed. Uh, okay. Like from now on, every person that I, posts about going to I, a concert, I want my ask youngest what daughter brand of diaper they wore. My youngest daughter loves K-pop, and she has will literally like leave after work and travel all the way to Orlando or travel all the way to um, Atlanta or wherever she can drive to just to see these people in concert. And I have no idea that they are. And she'll send me videos of songs that she thinks I'll like and it's like remakes. And so I'm watching these and I, my thing is, is are they just lip syncing and dancing? I mean, because that's what it looks I like. I mean, that's what, if it's you like, want to be honest though, that's every concert though. Yeah. Like m for the most part, a lot of concerts, even back in the day. But they look like it doesn't look like a music concert. It looks more like a dance competition or a dance. Con that's like fair. A, and it's so I'm, I'm not saying they're not talented. They are. But yeah. I'm like, it's just not what you're into. Well, it's not. It's not a music concert. Yeah. <laughs> it's like so my question is now that this is a thing. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Tangents is what the show is about. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my, my now next question is that, you know, if this is a thing and it continues because it will. Because mm -hmm. concerts are only going to get bigger and more expensive and whatnot. Mm -hmm. so the, Especially because, when Ticketmaster well, in charge. Because, <laughs> look, look, I'm not there yet where I'm going to you know piss myself because I, I don't want to miss a song. But I understand. I spent like half my salary to get on this trip to do it. So I'm not going to miss a minute. I get that part of it. Right. But um, I, I wonder if, like, will companies now start marketing – Yes. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Will market to anything they can. You're going to be able to buy them at the concerts, probably. Probably. Like, think they're going to have that. they're going to have Swifty branded. Depends. Swifty branded. Well, like, yeah, like <laughs> they would have to sell them at the concessions, I guess. Here's here's your Coke and here's your whatever and your diaper. <laughs> Enjoy the show. No one called it that. <laughs> so they all have like. I'm gonna it's going to be called a yeah. TT. I'm about to. I'm about to <laughs> Tay Tay's TT. Tay Tay's TT pants. That's what it is. Tay Tay's <laughs> TT pants. <laughs> so, um, do we need to quickly like Quick. get, no, I, the yeah, yes, get the trademark for that? Yes, get the trademark. Do that, it. Get, get that uh, re website registered. So I guess they all have her like face on it, and after you went, they just vanish. <laughs> yes, that's how you like. Yes. <laughs> so, yes. So, so it's no, like, no, oh no, no you no, have no Tay Tay's. No, you need no, to change it's that. It's going to be the opposite. Yeah. It's gonna be blank, when you see her and then face. people are gonna get so excited because when they use them, it will do something. Well, oh yeah, like it'll have like one of her songs, but like, you won't know until you, you won't pee know on what it. song. You will gonna... have to pee on it to see what you the design have to is. See what lyrics? No, show two no, no, designs no, better, are the same. Even better, even better, you take a piss and it starts playing Trouble, and just <laughs> 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 you hear Trouble out of your pants. <laughs> I don't know that those will sell well. I don't. I don't. I don't think people want it to announce it. Like <laughs> we don't want to. No, annoy. but I think because no, I'm just no, 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 so no. excited for when I have no, to no. pee later, so I can see what happens to my diaper. Right. <laughs> what lyrics do I have on my hoo ha? I wonder which one she picked for me. I. I mean, if if they're on TikTok oh. giving recommendations, of course they would be proud to find out which song they got. They wouldn't be in. I mean, like, what you doing? I'm I'm playing Bad Blood right now. Now, <laughs> now I will say the most wild take was out there on TikTok. Th this past month, which was the I don't know if you saw because you're probably on more music TikTok side. Sure. Some, somebody was claiming that Taylor is as big as Michael Jackson, and that's a no from me, even in that generation. I of, think she is. I, no, I, I she, no, she's no, for her Michael, generation. Because MJ is multi generational. Taylor Swift is not multi generational. She might be though. She's later. Like still at the beginning. She, 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 she may get there. She may get there. I mean, I mean, but currently, th they were saying now. All right. They were saying now she is. Well, at her level and at Michael Jackson's level, at the, his age, at the same time, I think, I think she's pretty much up there. I think she. I think she did more concerts in a year than he did. Yeah. I did less concerts back then. Yeah. Um, I mean, I get the I get the idea in the comparison. So I get I mean, the comparison too, but I I just don't. I mean, I prefer I don't Michael Oliver. I don't agree because I think I MJ is multi generational, and plus, but give we also to give credit to Taylor, Michael was starting as a kid. Right, like, he and, started and, young. And, and, and to to be to be fair, if anybody's going <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, to be fair, to be fair. Uh, if anyone's going to do it, it's going to be Beyonce or Tay Tay, right? Yeah, yeah, to to take that mantle. 
I so wonder how happen. baby they just, need, they just need to hit the multi generational. Do they multi- like each other? I wonder. They I don't. don't. No. <laughs> they can't. That's a competition. Specifically because of the concerts going side by side. Side by side. So yeah. It's I don't know if Tay Tay likes anybody. I get the feeling that she doesn't. She seems like she's really nice, but uh, I don't know my, if she'd be I, really nice. Uh, my my gay coworker uh, is a obsessed with her. I, in fact. Um, he helped me out a couple of weeks ago, and so uh, our f- friend Beck Schultz, who did art and stuff right. for us before, did a bunch of Taylor Swift stickers, and I ordered them and gave them to, to him. So shout out to Logan. Nice. But he's convinced she's a lesbian. He's like, every time she has a has like a big announcement, he's like, okay, here's all the clues that she's going to come out today. <laughs> and just like, here's the map I've made. He's probably got like a serial killer wall <laughs> to figure How out. How much plaid does all, she wear? All the ex-boyfriends <laughs> that prove that like... Is that the sign? Is like you start wearing plaid? It's like no, 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 gay. plaid. <laughs> wait, there's many signs. Well, wait a minute now. I wear plaid all the time. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. I know you do. <laughs> what is my that? point exactly? <laughs> I mean, I wore plaid in the '90s because that's what everyone did when yeah, they were listening to grunge. It doesn't yeah. count when it's I outside also ha- of its. Era. I also have a collection of combat boots. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you also have a jeep. <laughs> Let's go ahead and keep going. You want to keep going? Or I am just surrounded by in? lesbians. Not a bad place to be. Hey, I am a proud <laughs> bisexual. There you so go. There but you go. that's an interesting thought. Doesn't matter. No, but I think it's, it's crazy. I just yeah. think it's. <laughs> every but time I would like to hear answer. more about the Bebe Tay Tay. Oh, it's even it's <laughs> been it's, it's been increased by TikTok because TikTok is covering. Taylor Swift oh. stuff so much, and then whenever Beyonce stuff is That's shown, it's her age. But then it's when, j- but when Beyonce stuff is shown, it's always like empty crowds and stuff. It's like, no, that's not how the Beyonce concerts are no. really. Listen, speaking of rivals, I heard something about a cage match between Elon <laughs> Musk and Mark Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg. 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 because of because Zuckerberg. of threads. They opened another it's social a, media. A, they agreed to do it. Threads. So, Team Elon. I think. I'm Team Elon. I don't Elon. know. Zuckerberg is is, is I'm scrawny. I'm Team Elon because he's weird, and I think I think Zuckerberg is scrawny enough that he he's he's got he's he's we need he's to go fast. ahead and pick he's a side. He's got dexterity. So I, I'm going to say Team Elon because I think he's really weird, and he's going to use that weirdness as a superpower. <laughs> My question is, which one's wearing the diaper when they fight? <laughs> it's Elon. It's Elon. <laughs> it's Elon. Totally. But it's going to be like... It's It's Elon. It's, it's going to be this weird, like, space diaper. <laughs> no, <laughs> He's no. going to be like, my so, diaper is better than so your diaper. What's, no, what's gonna, doesn't what's gonna, show up on my diaper when <laughs> I here, use it. Here's what's going to happen. Elon's going to talk of the big talk, because he always does. We'll and then the, at the last second, he'll be like, actually, never mind. Sorry, I'm busy. Because that's what he does. We'll title this episode, Huggies. I just... <laughs> <laughs> Huggies don't have an adult diaper. It depends. It depends. It depends. It depends. <laughs> it depends. You just spell it though, like the. Uh, yes, they were supposed to have a cage, but they both agreed to it. And ends. Then apparently, um, Elon's mom said, "Hey, don't fight," and so they're not doing it now. He's oh. not fighting because of his mom. I, I told, told him not I to. Told, hey, look. Zuckerberg's gonna just, win. <laughs> Elon has See, a mom problem. The whole time. I take it back, man. It, if, if he's worried about his mommy tell him not to fight, then it, no. He's, because he's well, got parent issues. Come on. Uh, he's got so, them blood so, diamonds and so everything. So, look, Elon's a, an alien, clearly. And Zuckerberg's, clearly. Zuckerberg's also an alien. No, Zuckerberg's a robot. And so we have aliens, aliens versus, versus robots. robots. <laughs> and my buddy, like, you know, it, you know, if it's in a battle between Data and, Cl- uh, and Worf, I'm going Data, right? Yeah. Data can kick Worf's ass. They don't feel pain. They just keep going. Just, just keep going. So, kapla. Zuckerberg's that is like a, f- a rock'em sock'em. Funniest thing ever. Are we ever going to get the... Um, Bieber. The Bieber. No, we're never going to get that. And that upsets me so are much. Are we going to get Bieber? For a very second episode. Are we going to get uh, Bieber's new girlfriend versus Selena Gomez, though? Oh, my money's on Selena know. Gomez. Yeah, Selena I have Gomez. no idea whose new, new girlfriend, girlfriend is. Oh, his know. new girlfriend is causing so much trouble. I thought he was married. Married. New wife. Oh, they got married? married? They've been married for a minute there. Was, yeah. she, was she a believer? Is she she's anybody? No, she's a... She's related to the Kardashians, I believe. Oh, good God. I'm sorry. I'm doing Bieber your job. married a Kardashian. <laughs> she's, like, related. Like, she's not a Kardashian It's in so name. hard for me not to call them the Kardashians. Hey, it is the Kardashians. The Kardashians. The Kardashians. Star Trek thing. It's a Star Trek thing. Okay. okay. Yeah. I wonder uh, which one came first. Uh, she the is not. Oh, uh, she's not. Okay. No, it's worse. She's uh, uh, the youngest daughter of uh, uh, Stephen Baldwin. Oh, oh Jesus. Mm-hmm. She's, she's a bald one. So Steven. She's oh yeah, Haley Baldwin. Yeah. Steven is the only good-looking. But yeah, Baldwin, no, Haley came out swinging for no reason at Selena. Like, there's no reason for this. What, piece. Okay, when you say swinging, she looks so high at her. She Wikipedia just piece. talking like, shit. Like talking. No, no, no yeah. I know. I want to know what he's saying. I can't remember like, this. I can't remember the specifics of what started it, but she just immediately was talking shit and like it's like 
it no. That Selena, means she's threatened. And like the internet, like yeah, and the internet is on Selena's side because one, Selena came from nothing. Like Selena, like TV mm-hmm. is what made her. Yeah. And so like, the fact that Selena came from nothing and is now like really popular. That and whereas Haley comes from the Baldwin dynasty, but what like, has she done with her own life? She was a model. Is she? Yeah, that's she it. looked pretty. I guess yeah. I only saw that on here. Uh, I don't know her. Yeah, and nor whatever. do I probably. And think very she's religious, pretty. apparently. Yeah, she's super religious. So and so like apparently Eric, Bieber is too. Yeah, Bieber found Jesus. Yeah, the Bieber found Jesus for a he, while. He, for, yeah, my, he's been there for a while. In fact, my favorite Bieber song because I have one is uh, called Holy, and it's basically. Your sex is so good it makes me feel God, <laughs> and I'm like, because that's what Jesus to be, wanted. To, well, to be fair, to most be fair. to be fair to be fair to be fair to be fair. Most religious songs sound like they're about a girlfriend, right? Like, right. If you well, take Southwark, God out of it, it Southwark, sounds like South Park did the famous yeah. thing. Oh, where yeah, they, it was so they, funny. They, they just made love yeah, the songs. Finger, the finger they bang. did a Christian finger, band. Christian finger bang. Finger bang. Um, <laughs> uh, let's talk about the weekend. Yeah. I was oh, going to do this on, Bieber on, thing. Did Bieber so, so Bieber did this song called Holy on SNL, and the set looked great, and it's him and Chance the Rapper. And I was like, I did not like any Bieber. And then I was like, okay, there's a hook. I have a, I, I'm, yeah. Doing, yeah. I'm, I'm desperately trying to talk myself into doing karaoke. There, <laughs> do there's it. a song that him and Ed Sheeran do that I like. Oh, yeah. And I, I hate to admit it, because no. I love Ed Sheeran. I yeah, don't like I like Bieber. Ed Sheeran. I'm yeah. only a believer so. when it comes to fighting, because I think you could take Tom Cruise. But yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. No, no, Tom, Tom Cruise will win. I'm glad now we're even. And I don't even like Tom I agree Cruise. because like Bieber, Bieber's not Tom weak. Cruise he's buff. does he's his buff. no 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 uh-uh. he's a little bitch baby. That, <laughs> Tom, Tom Cruise when does his last, own stuff. When was the last time you saw Justin Bieber? Tom Cruise has his all so of his he has little, tattoos. Ooh, all of his little <laughs> the metachlorians is what Tom Cruise does. <laughs> Tom Cruise from can all, do anything from and will survive the, like, from all the aliens in the Church of Scientology. Yeah, yeah. Zeno yep. is, he gets Zeno. The, yeah, he gets the, the, like he gets Bieber the, thinks he's he, religious. Tom Cruise it, will crush this, his is religion. Is this going to be a tag in fight though? Will Tom Cruise get to bring in John Travolta? And <laughs> 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 that would be fantastic. <laughs> And, uh, I don't think he'll need to. <laughs> he won't need to. John Travolta will come in with the crazy though. He's the crazy. He's the he'll wild come card. in the crazy, but he's a big dude too. <laughs> so he can bring in. Uh, uh, he can get bring in. Um, is, is it Giovanni Ribisi and his sister? Oh, is that I who else is? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. he's kind of squirrely though. Yeah, he is squirrely. He's very squirrely. Oh. Uh, well, that, that's what I was saying about Zuckerberg. He's oh, a little bit Nancy squirrely. Cartwright. I forgot Bart Simpson's a uh, Scientologist, too. Yeah. Um, anyway. Anyway. This weekend. I'll see it. Uh, Friday, uh, Steph and I hung out and we saw uh, Brad Williams. I've got pictures. Who, you met him, too. You I got met him. I was saying, I got pictures. Yeah. It was awesome. <laughs> you want me to talk about yeah, it? Yeah, I was like, I'm so sorry. I wasn't there. <laughs> I don't have that story. <laughs> <laughs> I brought. Taylor Swift fans wear diapers. Um, You've so got this I one. Got it. So <laughs> we were, um, I met some friends of ours. Uh, the, the husband, Charlie, was having his birthday. So uh, he had, they asked us to meet him at Grace before the concert. Quick sidebar. How is Grace? Because I've been wanting Grace to Grace is amazing. I, okay. I, we've gone several times. It, they're pricey, but amazing. Okay. So anyway, they have, oh God, they have this fat washed old fashioned. So they take bourbon and wash it in fat, duck fat. What? Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> and make an old fashioned out of it. It's called gluttony. It's on the sin list. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Carry on. Okay. So anyway, we're sitting there eating, like minding our own business, and um, we're talking. <laughs> this is so. This is going to be bad, guys. I'm sorry. Um, we're talking about Charlie, who who has a little person fetish. Okay. He wants one to keep. And we tried to explain to him that he cannot slavery have one. Is, slavery's wrong. Right. Yeah, <laughs> like he, he cannot have one. So his he wife. Could marry one. So his wife, before the concert, tried to contact Brad Williams. Like she messaged all the places she could find a message to invite him to dinner and um, whatever, you know, just or just see if we can get a VIP or something so Charlie can meet him. And, uh, of course, never heard back or anything. So we're sitting there at Grace. And lo and behold, there's Brad Williams having dinner right at the table right next to us. Wow. <laughs> so it was awesome. Uh, very nice guy. Um, we, l- we left him alone while he was eating as he was getting up. As, you know, we asked if we can get a picture. And he let us take pictures. And it was hilarious. 
But what's so funny is in the show, he did one bit um, about uh, towards the end because they did a meet and greet at the Sanger too, and he said, he said everybody's um, dilemma was whether or not to stand up or kneel down or whatever to take pictures with them and he says you know making jokes but it's funny to watch people's faces trying to figure out what they want to do when they take pictures with them and it just dawned on me that yeah that's the truth we we were like do we kneel do we stand what do we do <laughs> what did you do I, I did the like a cheerleading stance where you kind of do the half half stand like the ha- here i'll show you the picture do i thought you were gonna stand up and do it, you want me to do it? Yeah, yeah just stand I, up I and do it whole, i did the whole you know the cheerleading thing like that. Not I was going to ask about Jamie, but Jamie's about your height, so no. he could probably could have done the cheerleader, too. He did. Okay. I'm going to show you. So it was not quite a kneel, not quite a stand, because we didn't know what the hell to do. Yeah. <laughs> and for the audience, we'll probably just talk yeah, about it. Yeah, I'll show you a picture. It was yeah. so funny. Here we go. Here we go. And uh, if you're listening at home, you're out of luck. <laughs> yeah, go watch it on the video. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll totally, yeah. We'll totally post it. We don't awesome. do we do we not do show notes on the No, the website got hacked. Uh ScottyWhite.com cool. got hacked a while back. I saw it. Yeah. Um uh, a while back and um as soon as I get done playing craft show off for this thing I'm doing with them, I'm gonna get craft show to work on my website next. Okay. Yeah. But it was yeah. so fu- he So was shout so out to Craft Show. <laughs> yeah. Craft show. Thank you, Craft Show. I, I, got, I got to I gotta pay him off first before Drew takes my legs. <laughs> God. <laughs> Going for the legs first? Yeah. He wants me around at least for the upper body so I can play games with him. Oh, are, you, yeah. are you looking at the menu? I was looking at the menu. You got to go to the cocktail menu. I'm, oh, I was like, I was like, I don't drink, so I was at the car. I was at the. Um, the yeah. I was at the. Oh they, oh, they have non alcoholic cocktails. Yeah, no, that's what I was looking at. I was looking at the uh, mocktail menu. So go to the centers and read that one tour. So the it's the like gluttony. Deadly Sins is under that. Fat wash bourbon, chocolate bitters, brown sugar. So yeah, what? yeah, we and it's go. duck fat. We should go one night. It's duck fat. It is so good. We should go. They have a list. So one side is the deadly sins, and the other one is based on, um, like saints. I and saw holy stuff. sins. Yeah, or you got, holy. Drinks you got you got religious drinks and all the sins, and I always drink off the sin list. Of course you do. So you. so we went to see Brad Williams. He was uh, very hilarious. It's uh, if you're, of course you're not familiar with him. He's a little person comedian. He's done three specials. Uh, pl- feel free to YouTube him. He's hilarious. Um, he kicked off his tour here in Mobile. Yep. And didn't know if he could sell out uh, theaters. Sold out. W- sold, sold out with out. us. And um, I didn't get to meet him because there was a. That, I mean, oh my God! The line to meet. He him was going to meet words. everybody. He was like, "I'm going to be out here taking pictures," and that's what he did. Which is no, not everyone does. And yeah. I think that's. I just didn't want to wait in line. But if I could have talked to him, but like, look, um, tell your friends that Mobile's a comedy town. Come see us. Yeah. Okay, Scotty. But he, you know, if you would have saw him, would you have kneeled or stood up? For I would picture? have kneeled. Okay, carry on. So. Yeah, I met. Um, I, I saw him post something <laughs> about you know thanking Mobile, and I messaged like on his Facebook, and I messaged him, and you know said great show, or I did a comment, you know great show, it was nice meeting you, like and yeah. added the picture, and you know he responded. So I feel like if you wanted to say hey, tell your friend, you know, yeah, yeah, love yeah. seeing you, he would respond. He'd I'm see sure, I, absolutely, I think he would. So he's maybe, super nice, I mean, and his yeah. opening act, I really was well, really really funny. Who I don't remember his name, but he's it great. was J D Duke. Yeah, but he was really really funny. He's a uh, he's one of um, uh, not Chappelle, the other one. Um, Chappelle show. Um, Kevin Hart's guys. He's one of Kevin Hart's guys. Oh, well, he's like so Hart. funny. He was really so funny. He's the, the Elvis bit she was doing is from that. Yeah. It was great. I'm trying to find So it. afterwards, uh, instead of doing the meet and greet, uh, Stephanie, Jamie, and I go across the street to Alchemy um, to do karaoke because I've not done karaoke since January, but since Poindexter's closed. Right. And so, and you know me, I love some karaoke. So uh, <laughs> Stephanie and I are sitting down. Jamie's getting our drinks um, because he's a good husband. No, <laughs> He's he a good is. husband. And uh, then we're joined by oh my god this girl this hot mess of a lady i forgot her and she's hilarious it's she is it's like 10 o'clock and she is like five sheets in the winter already. she's she Aww. just sits down at her table and she goes i'm so tired do you mind if i sit here for a second as she's sitting as she sits i'm sure no problem and she looks and goes she, she looks at me she puts her hand on me and goes you look like jelly roll <laughs> literally is what she said wow i don't know who jelly roll Stephanie is goes Who's Jelly Roll? And I looked over and said, a musician. 
because he's a singer. He's you know he's a guy. Yeah. He was in prison for a while, and then he got out of prison. And he cleaned his life up to be this. He's a multi. Right. Yeah, no, I know who Jelly Roll is. He does you know he does a little rock, a little country, a little rap, a little bit of everything. And so he's been a, he's a hot thing right now. And I said a musician, and she slaps me hard on my arm and goes, "He's not a magician." <laughs> <laughs> no shit. And I went, "Yes, he is, man." <laughs> He pulls rabbits out of the... Steph is trying to keep a straight face. <laughs> and I'm just locked in this lady like, don't tell me, drunk woman. Now, you, you also <laughs> missed the whole woman. part like, where... I am... You should have just gone, Wait, I am Joey Roll. <laughs> you also skipped the whole part where um, she was talking about how we're such a cute couple. Oh, yeah, we were. We were. And she's like, how long have you been married? And said, we met in Nam. <laughs> <laughs> we did. We said we met in Nam. And <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> And then, and then I went to go sign us up, and when I come back, she was gone, and Jamie was there. It was all, but it was like in the same seat, so she had like transformed into Jamie. It <laughs> <laughs> was weird. So we had a good time, karaoke. We all sang. It was real fun. Yeah, it was uh, fun. We part ways for the night. I go back to where I parked my car, and when I s- get to my car, there is a envelope with a parking ticket inside. <gasps> you got a parking ticket? I got a parking ticket. Where were you parked? I was parked in the lot behind... Um, uh, Crescent in front of the blind mule, right by the blind mule. That that lot. No, not the Crescent. Not the one across from the blind mule. Not the one behind Crescent. The one. Okay, yeah, that's a pay. You have to pay. You pay, to you park there. pay to park there. And I did. Oh, you did. I did. Mm. I did. I got in line to pay, and when I saw that the uh, the line was long, they had an app. So while I was in line, I downloaded the app and paid via the app. Uh huh. They still gave me a ticket. Did you? Are you contesting it? I am. I sent an email because there's no way to contact them otherwise. Email or fax. Wow. Wow. Which is shady. Yeah, that no, is shady. yeah. So I sent a copy of the the Fa- fax the, in the year of our Lord 2023. <laughs> right. I I sent them a copy of my ticket and then a, co- a, a copy of the uh, my email yeah. receipt of that I've paid because the fine is thirty bucks. The ticket the the the. Uh, the parking space was like ten, ten dollars, twelve dollars, or whatever. I'm like, I'm not paying you thirty dollars and ten dollars. No, yeah. no, yeah. like fifty dollars no, 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 no. yeah. I have a feeling I'm not going to win this. Oh, you might. I, I have a feel. Well, I would just don't pay the damn thing. Right, but it goes on my driving record if it doesn't. No, no, you no, have to get like seven of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, it won't go on your driving record. Oh, I've yeah. had, I've had multiple parking <laughs> tickets that nev- nobody ever gives a shit about. <laughs> so, seriously. So I'm going to. Uh, so uh, ho- hopefully by next. Next um, podcast, I will be able to have a story of me fighting with. Yeah, well, one hundred percent. Don't pay it. Scotty I, versus the government. Here we go. <laughs> well, Scotty versus. It's Mobile. a private company, but it's a private company that I guess works with the government. Hey, they, Scotty, just tell them it's your land. <laughs> <laughs> fun fact. Fun fact. So. <laughs> no, 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 no. What, just wait. So, the the tribal lawyer now works for my company uh, and as uh, she's had a compliance but she was a, right. she's a Harvard trained lawyer she was a tribal lawyer for the years now she's working for us right. she's the first place I'm going <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm like hey um, this happened and this happened what happens if they never like if, like their game could be they could never just respond to me and go right. we never got anything yeah right and so that's why you save those emails because, and save the receipts because there's not a court date it's not yeah. like there's a, it, yeah. but I also don't want to go on my credit or whatever yeah. cuz save, well. save your emails save the receipts yeah yeah i don't so so I is work hard to build my credit with the city or just the private it's the private one but it was a fine so the they're fun- not going to do nothing so. yeah what they're not gonna do shit. Yeah, but I'm gonna fight this. I'm and gonna fight this. Fight, fight it. You should. And then, and then if it does go to the city, what are they gonna do? You show up to court, and they nobody shows up on their side, and you win. <laughs> and you have all your documentation. Right, all my documentation. Yeah. I don't know. I would. Yeah. Don't pay that. So last week we watched Science of the Lambs. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Which you missed. You missed. You missed. Well, we, I saw the movie right. because I was gonna yeah. do the. So what? Here's your platform to talk about Science of the Lambs. Let's talk a little bit about Science okay. of the Lambs. I, you didn't get to get to talk with us. I absolutely love the movie. I so um, uh, these series of movies are a mov- some that I enjoyed with my mother. My mother, I, and I know I've talked about this before. My mom loves horror movies. She's a, a thriller, suspense, horror, and that's what I grew up on. I mean, I saw The Exorcist when I was like five. Right. I mean, like. We, we were raised on horror, so watching these movies specifically, we would watch together. And so um, I absolutely love the film. I, I, I don't know if I would say it's the best one in the series, but... Oh, I will. 
I, yeah. Well, I mean, I like it for different reasons. Yes, it's probably it probably is the best one in the series. There are others that I like more for different reasons. Sure. Mm-hmm. But if if we're going just the movies, just the movies is the best one in the series. The way it's done. Um, I love Jodie Foster. I hate that she was replaced. Um, she, uh, she she she. Oh, well, she, she chose that. She chose not. She to. chose that She's road. Because I get it. Because we talked about this last week, but um, yeah, yeah. Thomas Harris, you know, he didn't want to write Hannibal. And they just backed a truckload of money up to him. He went, "Okay, I'll write Hannibal." And then he, and then he writes it the most disgusting way he can because yeah, and he's she like, was out. "Well, he just because that's his little f you." He was like, "Fine, here's an unfilmable." Book. Right. We talked about the cult meeting. Yeah, yeah. And so, so um, when we did uh, Manhunter. Right. So, but I, I love the movie. I think it's, um, I, I, I can't say enough about it. there's no, I don't have any negative I don't have anything negative to say about it I do have a fun story that my daughter um, wants to be a forensic entomologist she wants to be an entomologist and she does take moths and she mounts them and everything so for the past year I've been calling her Buffalo Bill <laughs> 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 literally amazing. so it's been it's been kind of a funny thing you know <laughs> it's like where do you hide your lotion Buffalo Bill <laughs> <laughs> Does she ever say, I don't hide it, it's just on the counter? No. <laughs> she just rolls it's in her the eye. basket on the table. <laughs> the you know, a- as of the youth of today, she just rolls her eyes at me. Oh, mm. or, or she'll give Use! Me, or she'll give me, like, this kind of an evil smile, like, you know. Depending on her she mood. She might be yeah. Buffalo Bill. <laughs> it, you mm. never know with her. She's a Scorpio. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying. Okay. A lot of serial killers are Scorpios. <laughs> okay. If you research that. It's fun fact. Did not know that. Did not know that either. It is. Is anybody in this but, room a Scorpio? But honestly, it's a fun fact that I knew Steph would know. I just like no, don't question that one. It's just, oh, I don't question it. Uh, is there anything else we want to talk about? I've been watching Hannibal. Oh, it was yeah. Good. Oh yeah. Oh, the show's great. How far yeah. are you into it? I don't remember. Seven, maybe seven episodes. Okay, so okay. you're still first season. Yeah, yeah, I'm still yeah. in the first season. We went on a. The Bear season two came out. Sure. Oh, yeah. Was it out? The Bear. I need to. I need to it's get the second season. So good. I'm trying to finish Peaky Blinders. I think I'm on the last episode. So. So I. Done. I highly suggest The Bear. We just got I through the, the last season. one yesterday. Yeah. It's good. It's really good. I, so um, we just kind of sidebarred, but then I'll go back to it. Yeah. Cool. I um, mm. finished Silo. That's the only thing I finished. I've been rewatching Black Mirror because new season dropped. My mom has seen that like four times. Like, she mm-hmm. loves Black Mirror. I've never seen it. I'm too soft-hearted. But she talks about it all the time. Is it soft-hearted? No, I'm too soft-hearted to watch it. I'm is, too is much of a pussy it, to watch well, it. Well, it's, it's, oh. the, it's the, for the most part, there are there are almost zero happy endings. Depending. Yeah, I like, I like you know me. i got to yeah. have something. Well, I don't know what Black Mirror's about. I it's, just know my mother talks it's, about it's, it all the time. It's British hardcore Twilight Zone. Yeah. Okay. That With That's a heavy focus it. of technology for the first few seasons, but this season has been more, like, all the seasons are really about humanity and how much humanity sucks and that technology can elevate that this if it's season creepy that's why my yeah. mom likes the, it this yeah, season yeah it is fuck. and this season has dropped the technology so i aspect. only watched one episode watch finished the complete episode and went this show is not for me the episode i watched they do a star trek episode oh the star and trek it's episode good. it's a really good star trek episode and at, but at the end i'm just like yeah not for me yeah. <laughs> not my thing it's like he deserves it, but also, like, that sucks. Does he? I, I mean, think so. Well, it's like right after um, Angelo passed, I was trying to finish up Firefly, Firefly Lane. Oh, yeah. Not a good idea. <laughs> it's about a chick who dies from cancer. No. Oh, oh, yeah. No. I was like, not th- you're not, just not emotionally. Not right now. Yeah, not emotionally there for that. This has was not the show I should be watching. So has anyone watched Yellow Jacket? No. It's on my list. It's on my list because too. of who? Because I don't know of, if I've heard about yeah. it. It's Christina Ricci, um, Juliet Lewis, a couple other people. Uh, they survive a plane crash and some creepy stuff happened afterwards. No, like, like survive. survive oh, a plane yeah, it's cr- about like a uh, team, a sports team or something. No, no, no. I don't know. Maybe they were a sports team. I, I think. Yeah, they were a high, uh, soccer team. Soccer team. Yeah. Yeah, they were lost in the woods as kids, and now they're adults, and it's a. Kind of a cross story. Yeah. I hear it's good. The second season I heard wasn't strong, but uh, yeah. wasn't as strong as the first. And, but I, and it's on my list. It's Paramount Plus yeah. now has Showtime. I was also I was also <laughs> talking with our guest for next week about another thing I've been watching, which is the Wrexham documentary about. Uh, we have a guest next week. Yes. Yes. Who do we have next? Jonna Farmer. Again. That's awesome. Yeah. No, first time. We did him out oh, of order. The Jesus <laughs> yeah. Christ, superstar. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We don't film these in order. order. Sometimes. Now you know. 
<laughs> now you know, the more you know. Yeah. Editing. Was, editing can change everything. I was trying to keep the meta of it. But Sorry. <laughs> she was like, oh, who's next week? <laughs> Actually, I think Jonna's coming back, too, though. We talked about her yeah, coming back. Yeah, we talked about it. Yeah. <laughs> for the, so, for the, the meeting. For the cult meeting. Yeah, yeah, so she can follow up when she reads the book. What's going to be a book club. the movie that you know, we're talking about. It does, uh, no joke, it does kind of throw me off when we record two in a row. No, I mean, this is best this is all we schedules. Do <laughs> yeah. But, like, it, I have, like, I lose track of Reality. what's coming out when. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, like, n- technically in real life, next weekend we're going to be at a con. Yes. Yep. Yep. So we're not recording, we, but we'll be doing a thing. Do yeah. we have, uh, since this episode comes out this week, do we actually want to say where we're going to be? Or? I'm going to edit this part out. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll tell you why afterwards. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. Because we, A, we got to pick the movie. B, there may be a, there may be a hiccup. Okay. okay. I just something I thought about. No, okay. good. No, 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 yeah. Um, Never mind. Anyway, so uh, speaking of the movie next week, uh, it's based on a book. Because we've been talking. Weird. Talk- What's the movie? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Start over. <laughs> How much <laughs> drinking have you done? Not a lot. I, so here's the Maybe thing. Maybe you need more. <laughs> <laughs> I have been so busy this week with my actual work. I'm big, I have been planning this big thing at work, um, Member Appreciation Week, that has a lot of moving parts. Plus, Friday night, we did the thing. Yep. Yesterday, my organization had a fundraiser, which I had to work because it was my float that put it on. So, stressing over that. And it's like, I could not seem to, like... Um, get my timeline straight for anything that needs to be done. You're just like busy, but in a good way. It's yes, busy in a good way. And then I've got my mom texting me while we're doing this. Can you pick me up tomorrow so we can have lunch with your cousin who's coming in through town at blah, blah, blah time from Colorado. And it's a thing. <laughs> so you just going to have to excuse me. <laughs> also, uh, also, I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Well, no, you're not old. Speaking of grandma's, this <laughs> <laughs> Segway, king of segways. Oh, <laughs> See, I went one way, you went the other. That was bitter. <laughs> I love it. That was a bitter segue. Let's go. Okay. Uh, Dementia setting in. The next week's film is Flowers in the Attic, ni- uh, 1987, with Louise Fletcher. I love her. Alabama native Kai Wynn herself. I love her because she's so evil. <sighs> Man, she's great. In, she's great. In, it's it's a, a, an odd film. I will yeah. go with that. Has she ever played in anything where she's not evil? Yeah, she was in Firestar. She was a good mom in that. She, she she helps. Um, That's right. She mm-hmm. was. Yeah, she, yeah her, her She's and very um, sweet. Art Carney is in yep, that. Yeah, I remember that. It was such a weird film. We left it on a dot dot dot. We did. Yeah, yeah it was. Right. You'll have to watch next week. We're, we're gonna have to cover it in an, another episode. Uh, so the next, it'll go over into the next gold meeting. Yeah. So two weeks from now. Mm-hmm. So. Nice. Two episodes for our audience to have to watch. Right. So uh, have to or get also to. for Stephanie You're to welcome. have to understand apparently. <laughs> Uh, so next week is uh, Flowers in the Attic, uh, 1987. Enjoy. Be sure to watch that one and not wake me up at <laughs> eight. O'clock. I, Caleb, t- I Caleb, didn't, Caleb, Caleb didn't wake me up, but I when I woke up, I looked at the t- 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 eight thirty. He sent it at seven. Going which one? I'm like, he's done watched the wrong one, didn't he? But in fact, he watched both of them because that's the kind of producer he is. Well done. And I watched the right one first. He did write the, watch the right one first because I went nice. release order. So because I was like, more than likely, it's the old one. Yeah, because that's what we do. And we typically yeah. don't do lifetime movies. on Yeah. Here. So thank God. I think we've only done. Actually, we need to go back and do the part two of the only TV movie we've done. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I, I, Can I, you I, enlighten us? Um, you looked at me. No, yeah. no. It's not Toy Story. Both of us had a blank look on our face. Right. <laughs> so it predates Caleb. It's actually in our first season. Okay, that helps. I Thank th- you for saying it I like think I it know was now. One of, I think we did it in here. I think it was one of the first ones we did in here. Okay. Maybe. A made for okay. TV movie? Made for TV. The only made for TV movie we've done. It's a horror film. There was a made for TV horror film? And it has a sequel? That we did? Uh, no, but... It was was it two, it? Yeah, it was it. It was in I two got parts. It. I got it, yeah. Yeah, we, we, did, we only did the first part of it, and we promised to get to the second part, and we've never done the second <laughs> part. <laughs> oh, interesting. Because we did just the part where they were kids, and we were like, we'll come back and do it later, and never did. I forgot about because that. Because we did it we because, did because the, movie the movie came, came out. out. Right, right. No, I and that, But when he, it too came out, we didn't do the other part. <laughs> I'll be damned. You're right. I think I'm going to save it for our Patreon when yeah, I eventually be, start yeah. our Patreon. I feel yeah. like we, we should also do a, after uh, next week's episode, 
it made me think that we should do a rewatch of certain movies just for Justina for the I ones that she doesn't remember. I think you should make Justina see Prince of Darkness. I think y'all can just see. I, hey, do, I if I was forced through it, you I had need to, to watch be pieces of it at that table. It's a good movie. I don't know why y'all hate it. Um, it's it's fun, cheesy. I watched mo- I watched half well, of it. Well, yeah, it's fun. I it's he half- didn't even watch the whole movie. Well, cause, cause, cause I was watching it in here because I'm always watching it. Yeah, and, and he was like, "Oh, you haven't." Watched- I like it. Yeah, you were like, "Oh, you haven't watched." I it. wear T-shirts of it often. Yeah. I you, bought you some. You got. In fact, I think the last episode I was wearing the Susan radi- the ra- radiologist oh, yeah. with the glasses. Yeah, yeah, I was wearing that one. Um, I do want to do uh, for our. I will eventually get to our. Patreon. The reason why I haven't done our Patreon, to be absolutely honest, is like it's hard enough to get us scheduled every two weeks to record, and that's just extra recording stuff. And we just got to figure out how we want to do it because there's extra stuff we want to yeah, put on there. The, I can totally do it. I but, mean, like it's just something we'll, we'll have to discuss yeah. off air. But that's the main reason why we have done it. Just I really I, there's content we have to create for it. We just hadn't had time to create it. However, there are things I would like to do. I would love to do commentaries for films that we've done. I'd like to do c- cats because we had a good time with that episode. The uh, first or the second cats, like the original or the newer cats, the only the one Taylor that, Swift God, one. Yeah, the Please don't. Okay, well I'm gonna have to again. figure out what kind of depends I'm gonna wear because I won't <laughs> make it through the movie. Bringing it back. <laughs> I would rather eat cat food. Oh, child, you'll than do, watch that movie. I get you one of those that Ch- come in a tube, Ch- and I can just child. You'll be fine because <laughs> you'll do what you do. You'll do what you did last time. You'll just bring wine. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> she yeah. brought wine in a purse. The I last will time say. I will say. Whoever thought Idris Elba's cat should have the fur color that. I just want to talk about it. As a, I just want to talk about the whole thing. God, well, I also want to do Prince right. of Darkness, and I want to do. So we have done a lot of episodes that didn't get recorded, like when we do live shows and mm-hmm. stuff. Some just didn't record because of technology and whatever. So I want to go back and re- redo a bunch of those. And then also our Star Wars Harry Potter. Oh uh, no, series. that's our next season. So I want to do that so. Bad. So next season, we'll t- tell you now. Uh, our next season is going to be Star Wars Harry Potter. So we're gonna do um, the, the we're gonna do one week Star Wars, one week Harry Potter. Or vice versa. Yeah. The and there co- will be no meeting. Yeah, there will be no meetings. We'll probably do a little short meeting before anything. Right. If there's anything we want to add or tell people yeah. about. But there will be no meetings. I think that will be great. However, we have to. Well, and we'll have this discussion now since we're on air. Uh, Star Wars we're going to do in episode order. Okay. So we're doing chronological. Chronological. So from episode one are all we, the way through to episode nine. Are we cutting out a Star Wars stories films? Uh no. Okay, so we're getting yeah. solo the and rule, one. The rule is mainline film. If it had a theatrical release, it gets in. So that so does include a- that does include Clone Wars. Okay, we did now watch that. We, we did be my question. Now okay, because so, Warner Brothers. So then we get all the Fantastic Beasts. Then that's so what he well. was going to ask. Yeah, so my I think question that's where is, he was going. you're the expert. Well, we both are, but yes. That's, yes. That's, that comes that's, down to you. That yes. comes, you're, the, you're the Harry Potter expert. Uh, Pressure. You know some of it. No, I know all oh. Harry Potter. Like, so I'm like, a Harry Potter nerd. Yeah. <laughs> like, hardcore. Go girl. <laughs> and, and in the case of... I mean, so I would, you two can have I would argue yeah. that we would need to do ours in order as well. Okay. Yes, so but that would start with the Fantastic yeah. Beasts then, right. chronologically. So we, that's so. okay. We get we get through the Because here's the thing. We get through I, the bad two films I've only seen... A handful of Harry Potter films, mainly when we were watching them. I've never seen a Fantastic well, Beast. Because <laughs> I, I like the first Fantastic Beast. That's why I said the bad two, because I don't like the second or third one. The second one, only because there was that Johnny Depp drama. I don't... I don't you I mean don't, the third one. Oh, there was the third one, the Johnny yeah, Depp I drama? I, I don't... I like the second one. I don't know what those are about. I know... Um, the Danish girls, the main they're dudes. important <laughs> to you. They, they are important to what goes on in the yeah. the original. If you're going to do yours in the order that you're doing yours, we, then have, we to do have to do ours in that okay. order too. The same okay. order. So the fantasy we, I mean, sure. come I, chronologically. I just think for Star Wars, the story it makes, it, the story it, it makes evolves. sense. Now it I've never watched them in that order. So Me either. So this will be new. So this will be new for us too. Okay, this will be we, fun. But but until then, we got we got three more movies yeah. to get to. Um, I'm excited though because I no, love both Star Wars movies, and Harry Potter. That's, that was like yeah. when we were talking about it. I, last this week. is like I. This is the Sorry, best yeah. of both word, worlds so for me. So September it's is not for me. When we'll stop it, start okay. it, and so that, and that's what we'll go th- go through and do. So we're going to be doing this through November too. Though. Yeah, we'll That'll do. Be awesome. We'll do it through November. That'll be fun. So it'll be a Star Wars Harry Potter November mustache. Hey, that works out, especially if we get like a Chewbacca's Harry, Harry. Especially, <laughs> if, especially because you get a Harry Potter film in December, and Harry Potter loves their Christmassy December. And Star Wars, this is Star, Star Wars, yeah. yeah, Star Wars has its Christmas releases too. Oh yeah. God, in the theater. But I mean, but like, there's thematic yeah. elements in Harry Potter that yeah, are like they're, December-y. They're, well, the British like Christmas. Yeah. Well, Boxing <laughs> Day. It's amazing. Boxing Day. I'm, they don't have a Boxing Day dance. They have a Christmas dance, right? It's a, it's a. 
the Yule Ball. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. the Yule, Yule Ball. ball. I was like, it's, we'll get to it, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> okay. At least I know okay. things. It's not they Christmas. They have a Christmas dance. Because or a Christmas dance. is Christian, and they wouldn't do that. It's a Yule Ball. There's not any Yule... Christian wizards? <laughs> no, no, they're, no. No, they're magic. She literally wouldn't cast anybody that wasn't British. She only casts the British. The Brits. So, so there's a difference between Yule and Christmas, I, I and know. it ab- uh-huh. actually takes place at different times. I, I, so. I'm, I'm familiar. I just, was, okay. you know. <laughs> this is going to be good. It this is. is the British well, I'm going to be we'll sick this, every we'll time we do a Star Wars. No, you're not. Here's, a, here, I, I'm, I've told the story a while, while ago, but it's this cat. They don't remember. Um, my, f- The thing that we can't do. Is be sick every time Star Wars happens? No, we can't do that. Cause <laughs> we'll it's be against get, the law. It's against the rules. Um, I'll be like sick halfway through the episode. <laughs> no, I don't feel good. I can't wait. Sorry. No, no. The thing, the thing that I'm going to miss about this project is that the original time when we did it, we both did a thing where uh, we would the other person would describe what they think the movie was going to be. Because oh. I had not seen the Harry Potters at the time. Right. That's how we started that. That's how we started that. And we watched it together. But I want to talk about my favorite one. Okay. And the favorite one is when the episode before we saw Prisoners of Azkaban. Mm-hmm. And she, Justine is, uh, we're in, in her kitchen and, uh, and kids are all gone to bed. We're, we've been talking mm-hmm. late. And uh, we get to this part where we're like, hey, so Scotty, what do you think the Prisoner of Azkaban is? And then I start reciting the entire I plot <laughs> of the Shawshank Redemption. Oh, my God. <laughs> with That's Har- fantastic. With Harry Potter people. Because I know... Uh, he knew enough of the Harry Potter people. Right. Well, we were like yeah. two movies in, three movies yeah, in by yeah, then. Yeah. Two uh, movies. I, the so, 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 but I had known that Justina has never seen Shawshank. Never seen the Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> <laughs> and went, she was riveted by the story. I, I was like, <laughs> you that just, was a really this good, is a good story. She's like, you, you wrote a, a good really story. Good story. <laughs> it's wrong, but it's a really, really good so, story. So in this, it's not correct. In this situation, well. who, did, who did you make the Morgan Freeman of this? That would be Dumbledore. I don't remember, but was I, that Dumbledore's? Because I don't Freeman? remember. I don't. I've never seen. the I movie. I can't remember how I said. I, I think because I, I, I remember I started with Harry and Ron. Okay, but he's oh, yeah. he he did it with all the characters, <laughs> and I was just listening. I was like, that was a really detailed, incorrect guess that you just gave me. <laughs> it's my favorite I'm thing I've really ever done to Justina. I've like, done some really fun things with Justina. You've never but seen the Shawshank Redemption, and I was like, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't. I still to this day. It's have not an amazing seen that. movie. Yeah. You know what? We may do it. We'll I will watch we'll that do one it over and over again. We, we, it may be our last movie I'm, of the season. I'm just a little shocked you guys don't do that shit to me more often. We do every now and then. Yeah. But uh, to be honest, and, and since everyone's now seeing behind the curtain, it's harder when we record two episodes at once. And so we typically do the cult meeting before we do the episode. So you've already seen the movie by the time we've done the cult yeah. Which is what messed me up today yeah. because yeah. we did... The, the movie, movie episode first, first. and then cult meeting. Our was, guests had time. I, I was all backwards today. But you know, so that and that's why we stopped doing it. So if we were to a point where we're why we don't we just start doing it at the end of the movie one instead of the epi- the cult movie? Hold on, does that mean we'll be like watching two movies a week? Yep. And yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, and so because it'll be cool. every two weeks still, but it'll. I mean, be yeah. Basically, both a movie. Of I, mean, I was just one Star Wars. Yeah. One, one Harry Potter. I already Potter. know I don't have to watch a Star Wars film. I, I, I no, I, you I have to them. rewatch them. Yeah. I, I mean, them. I don't care. Here. They're they're do here. it, producer. Dude, they've been all over here longer than you've been alive, and um, I'm going to watch them all. So. Let's put it this way: I I have watched all of all of them on both sides multiple times, and I'm still going to rewatch. Them. Let me just put I'll it this way: them just I've seen none of the Star Wars except for what's been forced of me, and I will not rewatch. I mean, I'll rewatch. Them for enjoyment. So let's put it this way: the the them. episodes one, two, and three I haven't really watched in a while because I didn't care for those. They, so I will I'll say have they, to I, I don't like two, but like one and three aged a lot better. Yeah, that's yeah, so what I'm saying. I'm gonna rewatch to but see if I have a different. Two still on kind it. of a mess, <laughs> but um, but uh, also uh, a surprise. We will have guests throughout this process. Nice. We're gonna bring in people, different people, during, for different episodes. Okay. However. We're bringing in another co-host for the entire run of the of the, the season. We are. Yes. Who? JD. Yeah. Oh, fine. That makes we sense. We haven't had JD yeah. in, a, in a minute, so because we don't do our Star Wars. We show. don't do our Star Wars podcast anymore, and so That'll I invited him last week. So JD will How be. How dare you? Will be a part of all of us. So. So he's like me then. He's yeah, he's like you. Okay. He's so, seen everything. Right. Okay. So we'll be on JD and I will be on the same wavelength. Absolutely. That's kind of what I wanted. So. Let's do this. So. Let's do it. Yeah. So okay. flowers in the attic next week. And uh, what so is his house, JD? 
We'll do we'll do all of that stuff. Yeah, yeah. he better know. I d- no, I need I to know because I need to know if he needs to sit on that side or on this side. <laughs> we'll find. <laughs> out. We we still have a few movies yeah, we before. Still we, got, yeah. we got a couple movies. We, we, got, we got three September. more, not including next week. Yeah, so we have four. We're four, all the same house. We got the four three more. When I, I think I'm changing the last one to the Shawshank. Caleb, Adventure. what house are you in? Happen. Oh, I'm I'm Hufflepuff. Oh, I knew you were a puff. Yeah, he's a puff. Yeah. you're one hundred percent. We're all Slytherin. My husband. We're all Slytherin. Slytherin. We, we've uh, already if gone JD over is not a Slytherin, he can't sit here. Yeah, we've That's already right. we've, we've already gone we've already gone over that. Over my ex, my, this is a Slytherin common room right here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make a little common room. Fire. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy some art. I'm, Slytherin common room. I'm gonna make a little fire. This is our fire. I'm putting our green up everywhere. Banners. It's gonna happen. We need a new tablecloth. Oh, well, I am going to get <laughs> We greener. need a reversible one, so it's just Star Wars on one side <laughs> and Slytherin on the other. That'd Scotty, make it happen. Why do I have we to get flip it, it mid-episode. <laughs> oh, this is going to be decked yeah. out in green. Yeah. I mean, I would, but I have no money. So. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? <laughs> Native American pop culture. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go Scotty. I'm going to go on, was it, Timu and, and order some cheap oh my God. Slytherin uh, shit. Don't do it. Don't I do order it. stuff from there all the time, and it's been great. What is Timu? I don't know. It's, it's a, a place where I paid $4 for this tank it's, top. It's the Bobo get stuff cheap. I paid $4 for China. this tank top. I paid $3 for this phone case. $7 for my entire outfit. Don't know. <laughs> Love me some Timu. Goodwill, let's go. Love me some Timu. So like a Goodwill, what is it? I this don't podcast, <laughs> priceless. <laughs> there is podcast, priceless. That's right. It's, That's it's why we give it away for free. No one could afford it if we charged. <laughs> and this is us saying. <laughs> yeah. Something about what the multiverse. Are we saying? Come on, come on. You go out and make yours. No, 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 no. no. This is our contribution to the multiverse. Go out and make yours. Go. I have said it every episode for and four scene. years. Ten years. <laughs> Cut here. <laughs> Edit. End. <laughs> Credits. Psh. Y'all are a mess. <laughs>